Hello and welcome back to Algo Trading Series using ME Broker AFL from Market Secrets. In this episode, we'll be scripting a strategy for intraday traders to track the gap ups and gap downs based on price breakout. And this strategy is back testable. And before we head into the strategy, I got an information for you. In addition to this series, we are running multiple series in parallel and all of it is available in our website. So these are free learning series on other algo trading platforms, trading strategies and investment strategies. Do check it out when you are free. And in addition to that, we have multiple data feeds provided as well as part of our website. So check out those as well. Our website address is www.marketsecrets.in. So do check it out when you are free. And with that note, let's begin today's session. So this is gap breakout strategy. So let's first discuss about the strategy. This simply involves gap breakout. That's what the name suggests as well. This strategy is very simple. When the market opens with gap up and at the same time, if it had crossed previous day's high, then it should be considered as a strong bullish signal and we should buy. And when market opens gap down and if it crosses the yesterday's low, then it should be considered as a strong selling signal and we should short. That's the core of this particular strategy. So let's begin with the rules. In simple terms, we need to buy if the stock gaps up and the price breaks the high of previous day. And we need to short if the stock gaps down and the price breaks the low of the previous day. As simple as that. And we need to sell or exit our longs if the target is met or we reach the end of day. And we need to cover, that is we need to exit our shots if the target is met or if we reach the end of the day, that is 3.15 p.m. So now let's move on to the script part. So first I'm taking the code and I'm just going to plot it. So if you look at here, you'll see, you know, the different trading signals that got generated. So you're seeing multiple stars on green and white, right? So that those are your trading signals that is uh, developed as part of the script. Now let's move on to the actual script. So in the first part of the script, right? So what we are doing is like we are assigning values to basic variables like target percentage and also, you know, the previous days highs, low, open and close. And what is the end of the day? What is your start of the day? So basic parameters, we are assigning value to those parameters. And then we are again checking for gap ups and gap downs using the built in functions that is available in a broker. And then we are plotting the shapes near the areas for identification. So if you are uh, identifying any gap up or gap down, we need to plot those in the chart for easy understanding. And that's what we are doing in the next two lines of the script. And now comes the actual buy and sell signal. So we will buy if there's a gap up followed by the price breaking the previous day's high. So if there's a gap up and price breaks the previous day's high, we will buy. And we will short if the price gaps down and price crosses below the previous day's low. And in the next set of quotes, we are assigning when we are buying. So once we get a buy signal at what price we are going to be buying. So that's what we are setting in the next two set of uh, lines. And in the next set of lines, we are assigning the values for sell and cover order. So in this case, what would be my target? So, you know, I'm setting my target. So I'll wait either till uh, my target price is reached or I'll wait till end of day. Likewise, uh, the same thing is applicable for cover order as well so we'll either wait for the target or we'll wait till end of the day to exit and lastly we are plotting all these different signals in the chart all these buy signals sell signals uh, we'll be plotting it in the chart and we also have a small script for plotting the price candles in the chart this is some useful stuff that we do so now let's send this code for analysis window so let's see how this code performs in the back test. So let's run the back test now. So if you look at the back test results, um, you know, you're getting some profits using this strategy. And uh, likewise, you know, you can just uh, change the time frame and run a different set of back test. And you're setting 
different set of results along with the list of trades so you can uh, run your backtest and uh, see you know which backtest uh, provides you with the optimal uh, results and you can add any other uh, you know confirmation signals along with this to you know improvise the strategy further so do give it a try and let us know in case of any queries comments or issues our comment section is open for you so feel free to ask anything and with that we have come to end of today's episode hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful also subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session thanks for watching have a great day goodbye